Welcome to Adventures in Manifesting. My name is Kristen Anderson and I will be your host as we dive deep into all things manifesting. I'm going to tell you um, what happened this morning. Um, I stayed up late, which normally I do, but I also wake up early to meditate. Uh, but I stayed up too late and I didn't wake up early. So I was feeling a little groggy. And I woke up. Um, I had like 30 minutes to get Pierce to school. None of this is an excuse, by the way. <laughs> Although it does sound like it. So I made him some oatmeal and I got him to get his bag together and you know, he took like two bites of his oatmeal and he's going to school. And I'm like, this kid needs to eat more, you know? Before he goes to school, he can't just show up with an empty stomach. So I said, Pierce, have another bite. He said, I, I don't I don't want it. I don't like it, whatever. He wasn't gonna eat it. So I was getting angry. I was like, Pierce, come on, just eat it. So as he was leaving, because he was late for school, as he was leaving, I walked over to him with the bowl and I'm like, let me, you know, I'm gonna help the situation. He's putting on his shoes. I'm gonna, you know, stuff a spoonful in his mouth while he's going to school. I'm like, here, open. And he made this face. He was like, eh, stuck his tongue out at me. And I know, because I know him, that he was trying to be funny and silly, but I didn't have any patience for funny or silly. Like, I'm trying to get him out the door. He's going to be late. I'm trying to do all these things, and I'm not feeling like you know what, I skipped my meditation <laughs> because it was so late. And I got so angry that I shut the door in his face and I went into the other room. I was just so mad. I said, fine, don't eat it. And I shut the door in his face and I went in the other room. And I'm standing there feeling so horrible and so angry. And I was like, Kristen, what are you doing? What are you doing? You need to stop this right now. Maybe he's still here, go open the door. I opened the door and he is standing right at the door, looking up at me with like little tears starting to well up in his eyes. And I thought to myself, oh my God, I understand because when my mother's angry at me, that's what she does. She throws her hands up, says fine, and goes in the other room and shuts the door. And she doesn't come out so quickly like I did today. And I thought to myself, wow, you have a lot of work to do, Kristen. Holy Moses, like that programming is so deep. I didn't even, I mean, I didn't even know what I was doing. It was just like a reaction. And, and, but I'm glad that I'm getting into this space of observation, observing myself because I, you know, it was less than 30 seconds. I closed the door, I went in the other room. I thought to myself, oh my God, what are you doing? It was less than 30 second reaction time. I, and I came out, I was like, oh my God, you need to apologize right now. I opened the door, he was standing there and I hugged him and I said, I'm so sorry. You didn't do anything wrong and I love you. It was just very frustrating for me as your mother, I want to make sure that you are well fed before you go to school. And when I'm trying to help you, um, because we're late and while you're putting on your shoes, I'm trying to give you another bite and you stick your tongue out me out at me. It, you know, it makes me feel bad. Like what I'm doing, you're not appreciating. So, you know, but then I said again, but you know, all of that's irrelevant. I shouldn't have done that to you and I'm really sorry and I love you very much. 
and um, he left. He was even more late. I think he was actually late for school, but five minutes late for school is nothing compared to going to school feeling that your mother is mad at you for something that you have no idea why. So, you know, I just wanted to tell the story to say like, wherever you are in your life and whatever programming like you're dealing with, it's so crucial to just stop and um, look at what you're doing observe yourself and your reactions and your feelings because when I shut that door and I went into the other room I felt horrible and I changed it and you can do that too look at the things that you're doing yourself that don't bring good feelings because you have the power to change that. And does it take effort? Yes. Does it take a lot of um, awareness? Yes. Constantly checking in with yourself, like what are you doing and why? And how are you feeling and why? And what do you need to do right now to feel better? All of those things, you know, all of it counts, especially if you're on a journey of uh, self-awareness, self-awakening and, um, growth of any sort. So that's kind of all I want to say today. It was kind of a, it was a big revelation for me that, you know, I am just, um, after all the years of self reflection and work on self, there is still so much. The well is so deep the layers of the onion are like infinite. So keep peeling away and growing and revealing the softness and being vulnerable and coming at everything with love. Um, I'm looking forward to when my child gets home because then I can give him a big hug and really sit him down and just really apologize tell him how much I love him and that whatever he does is good. He's good. And he doesn't have to eat his oatmeal and it's fine. <laughs> I shouldn't be slamming doors about oatmeal, right? Right? This is what it's come to. Anyway, have a beautiful day. I hope at some level this was helpful. And stay aware. Stay awake. Stay open. Come at it with love. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. My name is Kristen Anderson. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment of things that you have manifested and how you did it. And if any of this was helpful for you, please leave me a comment. I'd love to hear it.